It sure is a lot of resources that... Oh. I was going to say, this sure is a lot of resources that I am not coming back for. However, the sheer presence here seems to imply... Well, I found somebody's ship. Alright, now to go back for the repair tools. I don't think I can. I don't think it will let me. I do like the different varieties of ships, though. Like, there's a... There's a lot of different varieties here. For better and worse. But no corpses still. I was wrong. I think that is the first skeleton I've seen so far. Okay. I'll grab the other one. I don't think I want to burn the lantern. Or the toy if I can avoid it. But that one... That was like a lantern. Or not a lantern, sorry. That was like a drawing of the volcano. Well, hopefully this won't catch fire. I'm assuming we're supposed to be melting... Melting the ice. I mean, it's certainly getting drippy. Anything else I can be doing at the moment? Not really, no. Unless... I think... I see. Okay. Come here, toy. The entire point of this was just to open this up. It's receding. Unless I hop in the driver's compartment. No, it doesn't look like it can do that. Alright. I must be prepared to burn the lantern. yeah, this is definitely melted. I'm not freeing this vehicle. I don't have I don't have the capacity to do so. However, I think I have maybe enough space at this point. But let's just burn the whole dang thing. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's enough that I can get through. You would totally burn yourself just trying to go over this, I'm sure. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. That's... That's the stuff. Okay. We're not going to burn horsey. We're going to escape together or we're not going to escape at all. Whee! Shame about the repair kits, but I don't generally need them. Whereas I most certainly need a horse. The real tough choice would be finding out that, like, hey, here's a deer toy to it. I'd be like, I'd, I'd be crushed. What would I do? Yeah, I'd go for the deer. There are very few things that would not, or that beat out deer as far as animals go. They're just kind of cute. 
Bucks are kind of stupid, but deer in general are kind of cute. Oh. Resources. Into the ocean you go. Into the ocean we go. Am I supposed to be on top here? Probably. Oh. Well, it's my ship. It's a little crashed. And a little messed up. Maybe I did need the repair tool. Oh wait, no, there's another one. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Everything looks like it's kind of bad. We'll have to figure out how to heat this sucker up as much as possible. Let's go grab the package we just knocked in the water, though. I guess we also have this one. Oop. Oh, we've got a couple, in fact. Well, I'm gonna have to probably run the, uh, run the boiler for quite some time just to get us rolling. I do have a lot of fuel in supplies, though. Yeah. The chances of me not being able to get out of here are slim, and I'm sure they just gave us tons of resources with the express uh, purpose? With the express purpose of, of being able to melt our way down. But I will get it all! Because I'm, because I'm an obsessive, and this way we can just go maximum full speed ahead for the rest of this game. I can't imagine there's anything more... Ugh. I can't imagine there's anything more than this. Maybe. I'm just gonna put these on the back deck. I'll get it once we're underway. There we go. Kind of got it. Really wish I could actually pick up multiple of these simultaneously. It would certainly make my life easier. But that's okay. I'll make do. Watch it just a tsunami wave. Wash the whole thing away. Just be absolutely... Then I'd be crushed. Alright, so where's that... Where's that one thing? I just tossed it in the water thinking... I wasn't going to be able to do anything with it. Uh, or did it reset? I bet, I bet it reset. That's got to be it. Or it just winked out of existence. You know, too far from shore. Or, nope, actually it didn't, it didn't do either. I was wrong on all counts, it just floated there. You know, actually that's kind of the preferable situation. Okay, back we go, with a supply of fuel. We frankly probably don't need. Sales are looking pretty bad, but that's okay. Oh, right. Almost good. There's a spare repair tool. Which I might as well have. I think I've still got charges on my previous one. But, you know what? I didn't get this far. There we go. I didn't get this far without... ...hoarding all of my resources forever. Okay, let's just kind of blue line this a bit. Because we've got to thaw the downstairs a bit. Okay, looks like the sails are good. I'm just gonna pop them open. Oh, actually it looks like we thawed all the ice. Okay, please don't have... 
a background Oops. there we go for that I don't know what's going on why the camera angle is so focused on backwards there we go yeah we might as well keep blue lining it for a bit I don't think it's time to hit the super boost, but I might as well charge it up while I'm here. Damn it. I did it again. I did everything again. Get the engines out. Oh, that's okay. Back to blue lining it. My obsession with this is often counterproductive. But I mean, whatever. Okay, we're going the right way? Yeah. Catch that wind. Go quick. How the heck did this thing not just like... I mean, it took damage, clearly. But how did how the heck did this thing not take more damage? Is what I'm wondering. Because you really think this thing would have gotten absolutely I mean it got clobbered by the ice, we know that much. Oh. Those that's that's just a big wa waterfall. We found the edge of the world, except for we're on the opposite end of it. What movie was that that had the edge of the world? It was Sinbad. Never saw the. Uh, I haven't seen the Sinbad movie in forever. I don't even remember it being good. But I remember the depiction of the edge of the world in that movie was quite impressive. In its own way. And as a kid, I was enthralled. I guess would be the the word I'd use. With the idea of, yes, the world is in, flat, in fact flat. You know, it's a, very, very quickly you come to the realization that no, it's not. Of course it's not. It doesn't even take a whole lot of effort to prove that it's not. I mean, unless you're, you're willing to ignore almost all empirical evidence. I've, I've joked about this once or twice, and I have had people actively comment being like, no, it totally... Oh, shit. It totally is flat. You know, what do you mean? You know, curse your lying eyes. I'm always just very thrown off by that. And I'm like... Yeah, I mean, you know... You know the Flat Earth Movement was just a parody at first, right? <laughs> that doesn't matter. I mean, it matters to me a little bit. I... Critical thinking skills are very important. Okay, let's cut the throttle for a bit. Oh boy. We've got something down below. Let's move these back a smidge. Otherwise, we might actually want to go down here ourselves. This is freaking deep, man. Oh, eh, no. There's somebody's sailboat. But I, I don't think I could get the sub in here. Could I? No, I think we do. Because that, that's a little too deep for just the boy. I think the real answer is just we were about to hit, to hit a solid rock face. And I probably should have looked at that before I attempted to go. Yep. 
had I just continued on instead of stopping, I would have realized that fact. Well, I guess I know. Wasted a bit of fuel doing that, but whatever. Let's just do it here. Okay, so we only want to move forward a bit. It's fine. That was just a gross waste of fuel. How many of you guys playing this game ran the same issue as I did? to go too far. Okay, full steam ahead, but I want to, want to buoy out. How much juice do we have, though? Because I want to stop. I burned a lot of fuel there. And I do have a supply, but, like, I definitely lost a couple. Yeah, the issue is jumping for that ladder. That's how I keep hitting the button accidentally. Okay, so where where are these resources? Is there like, oh, there's a sneaky little gap here. There is, but there isn't. There's a sneaky little gap, but... Oh. Oh, has every buoy I've passed by had one of these? Maybe. Well, you know what? I can do this. It's a little impractical. But I can, I can definitely do this. <laughs> it's not... Not how this is meant to be used. But, like, we, we know this thing has, like, just a bafflingly long length. There we go. Okay. And back down we go. Up means bring it down. Oh, there, there it kind of goes. Yep. <laughs> Wee! Ho, ho, huh, ha, huh. <laughs> oh, that was a special, that was a special little performance there. I'm glad I did that. It's saying there's still something below me. Huh. I, unless it's right here, or like inside that gap, I, I don't know. Unless we end up doubling back in here, which is entirely, oh wait, no, it's this. How did that happen? We, mu we must have scraped it off, or, or maybe it was one of the bits of luggage that I left on the back? It's possible, one way or another, doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll be fine. Might not want to do this too quick, though. 
Because I think we're going to be going down further. Yeah. They're most assuredly going down further. Not too much, though. But not too little either. Okay. Could kill the throttle, but I think I'm just gonna go get this. Singular package. It's okay. Except for if I was boosting, I'm more or less faster than my vehicle. Most of the time. Don't mind it. Luckily, only certain parts of the ship can get damaged if I bash into things. Mostly my sails. I, I still stand by my desire to play this with another person. It'd be so much easier. I know there's like lovers in a dangerous space time, which evokes a similar feeling. And like barrow trauma, which I would love for nothing more than to put some time into. And actually be not garbage at, but every time I play Barrow Trauma, I just die. Ooh. Hi. Huh. I think we might want to go back a smidge. Then I think we want to go up. I could be wrong on this. But not like too much. Let's go, let's stop there and see what happens. Okay. So what are you? Because it's huge. Whatever it is. Am I supposed to drag it up, or...? Drag it out? Okay, I did a thing. I'm gonna just go give it an ogle. Now that I've done it. Oh. Oh. Am I supposed to get my thing in there? Maybe this is how we get above the waterfalls. That's got to be it, right? Down a little bit further. Oh, you know, I bet that one thing that was getting picked up by the scanner, I bet, I bet it was the fuel I'd put in the back of the ship because I was being hasty. I bet I, I lost one of the other ones there. I bet somebody even noticed that and it's kind of mad at me for it, but whatever. Hi. Okay. I think we can scoot forward just like a smidge. Oh, maybe not. Hold up. Because there's there's something down below. I don't think I'm supposed to go down here with the ship. Please don't tell me I have to go down here with my hook. Okay. Or, no, this is where I came from, isn't it? Okay, because the scanner was definitely telling me that there was a something. Maybe it's in the ruins of that that vehicle that I just left behind. Let's just go back down. Hmm. 
Hmm. Otherwise, I just give up. I've got more than enough resources, and whatever I'm missing, I chances are might have actually just been that repair kit. It could very well have been a fal false positive. I mean, it's saying it's all the way down there, but I just am having a trouble. I I'm having trouble carrying. and then down. There we go. Got it. A little awkward. Now what? I see the hook. Let's go investigate whatever I'm attached to. Oh. Oh! Wow, this is incredibly janky. And, frankly, extraordinarily dangerous. Why are we doing this? <laughs> this is no business working. And yet... I'm now stuck. Because I'm just gonna go around the whole dang thing. Alright, sure. It was probably a point past, but it's fine. It's a hot air balloon. We're, we're flying. Uh, well. Pop that once. Whatever resource is down there, I, I don't know. Yep. We're going up. In retrospect, don't I have the, uh, <laughs> don't I have my control set to, uh, my ballast set to sink? Uh, I got a bigger ballast that says go up, so I think that's exactly what we're going to do. This is lovely. Love the developers for this can keep making games. It's just, I don't know, there's something special about these games. Kind of like how I wished uh, we would get more games like Journey. You know, fully, uh, even mechanically like Journey. I know there's Abzu. Uh, I didn't like Abzu as much. It didn't, the movement wasn't as interesting. Pathless was fantastic, but it didn't, it didn't quite have that sand surfing brilliance. I think part of it was the level design was just kind of light, op open world light ish. Wait, 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 wait. What if, what if with the volcanoes going in the first game, it messed with the land and raised it in, you know, maybe a tectonic plate shift? So effectively, all of the water, uh, You know, all of the water... I'm going to set this back to water now that I'm thinking about it. But, you know, if all of the water... uh probably let this go. It can overheat. It would be hilarious if I could set the balloon on fire. Uh, but so it's a tectonic plate shift. So that all of the water is gone from that first continent. Uh, or the, the area from the first game. And then... All of it is flowed down, hence the flooding in the second. It's two different, um... It's two different societies, effectively, that are now dealing with two completely different but very connected problems, where effectively one has run out of water and the other has. 
a sudden abundance of too much water in such a way that it is actually quite dangerous. I wonder if I should actually go down. Nah. Stay in the sky as long as possible. Because I'm seeing an abundance of land here. Where I might not want it. Well, I did say the next far loan say or far game should be sky based. We've definitely got the potential. What would happen if I turbo boosted the balloon? What would even happen? I have no idea. But like, it seems like we've gone up into the highlands. The highlands have water, but it seems to be draining, as judging by those giant, giant waterfalls. I bet we're going to pick up the girl from the first game. That's got to be it, right? Because she was waiting by the by the shore. <laughs> what if I had enough fuel that I could just fly the rest of the way there? Because <laughs> I know in Far Lone Sails, you saw a light in the ocean. But what if instead... Uh, a boat came crashing out of the sky. New canonical ending. <laughs> just absolute... Just wrong. It looks like we're going down, though. Not by too much, but we are definitely going down. Okay. Oh, we are most definitely descending. Well, I guess I should probably stop putting fuel into this. Who knows? Maybe I'll just immediately be able to go fast. Is it falling apart on purpose or... I don't know. Seems fine to me. Alright. Full steam, steam ahead, full speed ahead. Let's just keep that fuel going. I don't know what we have left. It feels like we're almost done. But you never know. I never was once put in a position where I need to burn my mer merry go round or any of the other stuff. Shame I didn't have any better places to put it. I was only given so many hooks for fancy. Oh. I feel kind of bad for the plant. I just realized I never opened the skylight. I wonder if it could have been like growing this entire time. I, I bet. I bet that's actually the case. I see some Debris right here. Hmm. How much is left? I'm almost done. Every once in a while I, uh... Whenever I'm playing one of these games and there's kind of that question of like, am I, like, right at the end? I always kind of feel like I have to check. You know, pull up a walkthrough and be like, you know, is end near? And then I look and I'm like, not even close to the ending. And I'm like, oh, my passion for this game has dropped. I know this game is short. I know a lot of people said it was like three to four hours. So, you know, very much within my playable range. But playing uh, Pokemon Arceus Legends, I was just like, oh, this is kind of fun. I like this game. I want to finish it. And then, like, at some point, I just looked up a walkthrough to see how far along I am. And it's like, you're not even a third of the way done. And I'm like, oh. I'm sure it's actually not that bad, but it certainly felt like it. I don't do well with the whole long game is long anymore. I used to. I used to be fine with really long games. I think Persona broke me. 
Trying to play that was exhausting. But you can definitely tell this whole area used to be underwater. There's all sorts of... Wait. Isn't that the same as the plant that I've got on my back? It is. <laughs> they just reused the model for the underwater flora as my potted plant. Oh, we've got some fuel ahead. I'm seeing a lot of these, like, cargo crates. Okay, those are straight ahead. Eh, we might not be done yet. We might have a little bit left. Ooh, uh... I'm going to just put this out. Why waste the resources? Okay, so we're not we're not at the end yet. There's more to this. I feel a wasteful for not putting that fully out, but I was just going to accidentally set things on fire, wasn't I? Oh, no, we definitely probably do we have one more upgrade left? I have no idea. That was a good chuck, but now I'm realizing I might have needed that. <laughs> I think I did. Okay, this is for a lighthouse. Yeah, that, that fuel that I just hucked back to my... Oh, hey, bonus fuel. There we go. That's a chunk. Hopefully that's enough. I think I need both. <laughs> hubris. Oh, hubris. All right, where is it? Oh, it's right here. At least it's an easy retrieval. There we go. Boop. There we go. Now we're full up. Now it shouldn't stop me. Okay, so that moves the core for the lighthouse upwards. And then... It raises the balloons. Wait. Does the whole thing go up? Yeah, we are! I was right! Also, random bird. Was that there or did that just land? I have no idea. That bird is so confused, I'm sure. Wait, oh, oh, and it's turning, turning the camera angle. <laughs> I love it. A familiar sound. So that raises the ladder. How do I get through, though? Oh, uh, I'm here now. Hi? I'm good. Yes! 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 Bullseye! Broken ankles! <laughs> I like how he does this, like, really awkward crawl <laughs> after breaking his ankles for a bit. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, since we know we are good. One, two, big fire. Nothing can stop me. Full steam ahead.
cool down the engine. Okay, are we good? Yes. 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 Coming in for a crash landing. <laughs> oh. I probably could have waited for that one for a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> we just hit the shore at full speed. <laughs> it just crushed. <laughs> it crushed the girl. I think that's not what... It's not what having a crush means, boy child. How do you know? Uh... There we go. Let's just fuel back up again. We're just going full steam, full speed. Hyper toast. Okay. When we're within range of land, we hit the speed boost. Oh! They've taken it from me! <laughs> they knew! <laughs> They knew what I was about, and they say no. They say nay. Oh, wow, the size disparity. I did not realize that the, the car from the previous game was just that much smaller. Holy shit, this is a huge boat thing. Well, now what? Is he taking off his suit or can he not? <laughs> it looked like he was trying to take off his diving suit, but alas, no dice. Well, that's kind of lovely. I, I still feel very bad for the land boat. Seeing as it's, you know, there and in, in absolute shambles, the poor thing. at it. Aww. I might honestly give that game a, or like, just load it up at some point. Maybe I'll play through it with Shell. You know, we just spend an evening playing through both again in like a year or two or maybe like a Christmas thing or who knows. I don't... Either way though, absolutely lovely little experience. I really enjoyed it. I mean... Almost as much as the first one. I think the first one had a little bit more soul. This time around, I knew what to expect, so it wasn't quite as uh, impactful. But as far as like sequels go, it more or less is just more of the same, but with some more stuff. I loved having the sails that really, really, you know, had a layer of complexity. You know, just getting the, the sails in and out, catching the wind and so on and so forth. And I'm sure I missed quite a lot of things, but still, I'm... Still also have a lot of questions, like, hey. Oh, you can see her boarding the boat. Uh, but uh, I, I wonder if we're going to get kind of like a, a visual epilogue here. Where they're sailing away or something. That would be lovely. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, I, I'd love to know, like, where is everybody? Why are these two children, you know, unsupervised? I, I'm sure maybe many of the adults perished in whatever the disaster is. But I, I don't know, and I'd love to have more of an answer. Uh, but for now, I stretch. Yes. Oh, wait. We did the... <laughs> they put the land boat on the back. It just barely fit. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that that would be <laughs> I was not expecting it would fit I was not expecting it would be functional enough to fit that thing got wrecked at the end of far loan sales but I, I apparently it, it still functions much to my general surprise and yeah, the other reason why I just want more of this is just because 
Nothing else like it. I mean, sure, there's like Journey and a couple other walking sim type games, but there's just something truly special about just these really peaceful, kind of somber, maybe even a little sorrowful games. And the artistry and the designs, ah, oh, it's so good. Sometimes I wish uh, product design was all handled by committee and, and consistent style. Like, I would love to see automotive design just go off the walls someday. You know, truly, like, hyper-futuristic, let's, let's make jets in cars. The problem is nobody would buy them. But I would love that variety. You know, I had to go get our car serviced earlier today, and there was just kind of the... The unfortunate reality of every car on the lot was identical. You know, it's just rows and rows of black, white, and gray cars. With, like, a little bit of blue and some some red. And then there was, like, the one lot that had, like, three... It was, like, a kind of puke green, a orange, and I don't remember the last color it was. But, like, those were the only colorful cars in the entire lot. And it was just kind of like... I don't know. I feel like we could do more. I know people were making fun of those cubes. They were like weird cube cars with a wraparound window. But like, I like seeing them. Same thing with the uh, PT Cruisers because they don't look like other cars and there's kind of a charm to them. Same thing with the, the like tiny little eco cars. Like those, those things are kind of charming to see on the road just because they don't look like just a standard American SUV to me. Maybe it's less of a problem in Europe, but ar around here in the US, it is grim. Just looking at our car selection effectively can I um speed this up at this point I can't I'm afraid that there's going to be another thing because <sighs> yeah unfortunately talking over credits works when you have something to talk over but honestly just general appreciation it's a lovely game and I can't wait to play the next one in like three years or, or sooner who knows but for now at least Unless there's something else that's added at the end of this game. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.